Hello and welcome to That Entrepreneur Show. I am your host for today, Dr. Carlos Garcia, licensed psychologist and entrepreneur. Um, so we got a little bit of a different flavor for you today. Um, one with uh, uh, myself as the host for today, and I will be doing a little bit of an interview with Mr. Vincent A. Lancey. Um, the founder of that entrepreneur show um, and podcast. Um, and today to celebrate um, over 35,000 downloads on this show. Uh, Vince, you've, you've been at it and doing some amazing things. Um, we're going to interview Mr. Vincent A. Lancey because maybe you've been seeing he's been out there um, delivering massive value and content um, to his audience. Um, and uh, part of the reason we wanted to interview him today is because this is somebody with so many massive talents, um, doing so much good work that we wanted to clarify for the audience some of the uh, some of the some of the amazing things that uh, Vince is doing. Um, so on today, Vincent A. Lancey, welcome to your own show, my friend. Thanks for having me on as as a as a host for today. Um, and let's 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 chat, man. What's what's new? What what are you out there doing? Um, tell me about the, the, the amazing sort of things that, that, um, you got going on right now, my friend. Well, I want to thank Carlos, the King here for, this is his second time interviewing me. I admittedly should be doing more on me on the other side of things, but we have been working on a few things behind the scenes, Carlos and I, that we will touch on before the show ends, but I've also embarked on a whole new wave, I guess you could say, kind of getting my message a bit more clear. And I wanted to talk about that with everyone today. If you're following my social media, my journey, some things we recently started doing is more coaching on my end. I started doing some book coaching, which I still do, but now I'd like to focus more on the unfinished manuscript, the unfinished book target market. I know there are a lot of folks out there who have started the book. And then of course, as we all know, life gets in the way and they didn't get to finish that book. So that's where I can step in as a six time author and bring that book to life. We have some behind the scenes being worked on now and it's been really exciting. And I hope to make more of people's dreams come true with that. But also through his advice right here, something else I'm working on is trauma coaching, really focusing on traumatic brain injuries and other severe trauma. It's something I've built my whole endeavors around mental health and that recovery. And I know it's not easy. Someone who doesn't have the professional license, say, but has that extreme firsthand experience that has now carried over into entrepreneurship. I'm really excited about both. Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, Vince, let me ask you a couple of questions. One, um, man, great. I love this sort of book coaching, taking it from somebody who's been trying to write a book and get it out there for like the last 10 years. Right. I keep coming back to it, but something keeps getting in the way. Um, and, and you, you've, you've had how, how many books now? I have five solo books, one a contributing author. So six books and the seventh is set to come out at some point this summer. I have, it's supposed to be first day of summer, but I haven't decided. Amazing. Amazing. So, so you definitely have some experience on, on how to get a book out there, how to get it written. Um, I, I imagine you can deliver tons of value to folks who, and, and listen, I come across these folks all of the time. They have this great idea or they have a really brilliant life story um, and they want to get their, their book out there, but you know, they, they get overwhelmed by all the, you know, all the little sort of pieces to it. So uh, I'm sure you can, um, you can help folks out with that. Uh, you know, one of the things about you, man, um, you know, around this sort of trauma coaching um, that I, I've, I, like, I think you have a brilliant story that I, I, I don't think a lot of people, and we don't have to get into the details of it now, but, but I, man, like your story, I'm always so like feeling so, so inspired by it. Um, can, can you sort of just share with the, with the audience who, who hasn't maybe, you know, maybe this is the first time sort of listening in a, a little bit about your story that you can help, you know, bring to, um, other folks who have dealt with trauma in their lives. Thank you for the encouraging words, Carlos. I do my best as you know, each day yeah. I was hit by a car while walking home one evening when I was 21 years old, I didn't want to drink and drive or get in the car with someone drinking. So I walked and I didn't know that that short walk would almost turn into a death sentence. The extreme odds were that I may not make it through the first night. I may never walk or talk again. We'll go to the bathroom on my own. I mean, you name it, 24-7 aid, excuse me, for at least a year. But I learned all those things 
through all those things, excuse me, that expectations are just that, what people expect. I mean, you can even translate that to this show. Not many people expect to have the privilege of extending a show over three years of weekly yeah. shows. Now we're coming up on the 300 episode mark. We recently, the last month, I've learned ways to scale my podcast and market it in different areas. Now the numbers are really skyrocketing. And like you said, really grateful for over 35,000. But through the experience of recovery, that resiliency needed, that persistence, all of those factors that aid in a healthy success or healthy recovery, I should say, yeah. are now pouring right over to this. And that's what led me to you. Originally a season one guest back in 2020. It's incredible. Amazing, man. Amazing. I, I know that there's, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot of folks out there that are, um, how should I put this in, in the kindest way? Um, right. They're, 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 you know, they're these sort of self-proclaimed coaches or these, you know, sort of self-proclaimed, you know, they're, they're trying to help you with things that they haven't necessarily had to navigate in their lives. Um, and, and I think we can't really do authentic work unless we've done the work ourselves. And so, I mean, any, anybody that has a story like yours, man, I, again, I, I just imagine can, can be so impactful to, um, to others who share your experience. Um, tell me what, what, what other things do you got going on, brother? Oh, it's exciting. I first got my real estate license in 2017. Admittedly, a bit too immature at that point in my life to take it serious, not just the schedule that comes with it, where you can think, oh, I made some money. I don't have to work now the next week. I was so young. I didn't think anything of it. Being so new to the industry, surrounding myself with people where I didn't really know what they were talking about, uh, the wrong leads to pursue. All of these things led me to eventually get my one foot in, one foot out of entrepreneurship, that circle to start writing my book because I just wasn't doing as well as I could have, should have. So now that going to school has been done, back to school is ready to be released at any point now. It's a good time for me to focus on something healthy, a different uh, part of revenue earning, I should say, because yeah, yeah. I'm so involved with the books, the podcasting, the speaking, the coaching, all of those things are connected. Now a little something outside the box. I think that's healthy for everyone to expand their horizons, expand their endeavors. And you and I have been working on some things behind the scenes that we're not announcing fully yet, but we can <laughs> announce one thing and it has to do with the podcasting route. Carlos, why don't you take it away? Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, you and I have been connected for some years now. Um, we're always talking about ways to collaborate, ways to bring value to the community. Um, and so the big announcement is we will be co-hosting together um, that entrepreneur show. We're going to we've been brainstorming about some ways to bring some new edges, some new um, some new value to our audience and to your um, uh, your listeners and um and and how to bring some really powerful guests on right um so we you know we're going to be talking about sort of the the ups and downs of this entrepreneurial journey right um and uh you know i think with a little bit of my background as as a as a counselor and therapist um really getting to some deeper conversations man getting to some deeper um heartfelt you know stories about the struggles that a lot of us sort of face um on this journey and so, uh, man, I'm super stoked. I'm super excited about bringing this this new sort of flavor to the program. Um, we're going to, you know, we're in this market here in Tampa that's that's like growing so fast, you know, um, which I, I love that you're getting into the real estate market now as as Tampa's just sort of exploding, um, you know, as as a town and, and, and from a, a business perspective. Um, so we, we want to sort of come in. Um, at this early stage and and be able to be you know a couple of a couple of entrepreneurs that can uh, really deliver some high impact and some high value to folks man um, I'm, I'm super stoked about getting started on this venture with you brother me as well I'm very grateful for you coming on the show bringing a new spin to it it is hard to keep things fresh been constantly brainstorming ways to be different with the show whether it's more solo episodes I still have not hit all 50 states. So everybody out there, look in the Instagram description of this show. Those yeah. are some shows we still will be introducing to all of you. But we now have this sub-series going on in the show, and it's going to be great. If you think you're a good fit for the description Carlos just described, 
please do email one of us. We'll have both of our emails in this show description. We'd love to make you one of the first guests of this new part of the show. Um, well, big shout out to Shane. I know you're probably going to be listening on. You're going to be one of our first guests. Carlos and I start our week with Shane every other Monday, just brainstorming like this. And that's one of the ways this came to fruition. And I am excited to share that this summer's episodes will be brought to you in part by speaker coach Cesar Cervantes, specializing in helping you get your transformative message to the TEDx stage. Guaranteed to schedule your free brainstorming session, visit the link in the show description or CesarCervantes.tv. I love it, man. Yeah, this is, um, you know, I, I think one of the things that we want to do is, um, you know, I, I've listened to a lot of podcasts out there and usually my biggest complaint, um, it, it feels um, it, it feels very robotic. It feels like, you know, it, it feels very forced. And I think what you and I want to do is make it more organic. Let's make it about conversation. Let's let's talk about um, you know, the tough stuff, the tough stuff about, uh, you know, on the entrepreneurial journey, right? Um, the, the way it impacts us personally, the way it impacts is our, our relationships. Um, because I think that's where, you know, when I'm in, in some of these spaces, um, talking to other entrepreneurs, um, I, I don't think we have the outlets to talk about the, the challenges that we experience, right? And And for a lot of us entrepreneurs, we wear that as a badge of honor, right? This idea of just like, suck it up, keep moving forward, you know, don't, don't show weakness. Um, but, but it's, it's a part of the path, brother. And I think if we can bring on some guests that are willing to, to sit in our hot seat, if you will, and, um, and, and really, you know, take off the mask a little bit and, and talk about what, what this journey is all about. Um, there's a lot of people that are getting into entrepreneurship. There's a lot of people that are starting their own businesses. Um, and I think we need to lead the way from a place of compassion, from the place of, of like real inner wisdom, um, and not just, you know, regurgitating the stuff that's, that's already out there, brother. So I'm, again, um, can't wait for us to get started and, and, uh, and jump into this, uh, this, this new journey. That might have to be the name right there. Taking off the mask. I oh, mean, I love that brother. About- the work we're trying to do that we will do everyone out there, please stay tuned for the start of this. Stay tuned for more announcements. Carlos, the show may know where to find me by now at Vincent A. Lancey at that entrepreneur show, but where can we find you? Yeah, they can find me on social media. um, The entrepreneur psychologist. uh, And that's just a reflection of my work. Um, working with a lot of CEOs and business owners um, around mindset, around, uh, you know, counseling, what, you know, wherever they are. Um, so, yeah, that uh, that uh, entrepreneur psychologist, that's where they can find me, my friend. It's going to be a lot of fun to get this started. Everyone out there, be sure to stick around for these updates. We do have the other episodes, the solo shows, they're already recorded to July. So now we're going to be mixing in these incredible episodes that you're not going to want to miss. It's going to touch on a whole nother area of entrepreneurship that we're not already touching on a weekly basis. It's going to be a lot of fun, Carlos. Thank you so much again for taking the time to interview me here and get this announcement officially released. I always an absolute pleasure, my friend. And uh, great um, great work you're doing out there, man. Keep inspiring people. Keep getting out there. Keep doing your thing. Um, there's a lot of people that are watching you and uh, and and um, that, that have a lot of positive things to do that to say about the things you're doing out there, brother. So keep it up. Well, thank you so much. And the same goes for you, Carlos. Keep up sure. the great work you're doing. And everyone out there, thank you for taking the time to sit with us today on another episode of That Entrepreneur Show. The best is yet to come. We are signing off here both in Tampa, Florida.